a few things which he will need to pull something like this. 1. MPCIe, Mini PCI Express, to PCI Express X, 2. External GPU either AMD or NVIDIA. 3. A separate power supply unit, PSU. Now in detail. I have a Asus K45VD laptop, for which I have to the back cover of the panel to access MPCIe slot. Another concern in using the MPCIe slot is that many laptops and notebooks only have one MPCIe slot which is occupied by WLAN card. You have to remove wireless LAN card in order to use that slot to connect external graphics card. In that case either you have to use Ethernet via cable or have to use USB wireless LAN. Insert the graphic card into the PCIe X16 slot of the adapter. If your graphic card needs PCIe power connectors, 6 or 8 pins, you have to plug in the connectors from the PSU to the GPU. Power up the adapter by connecting the wire from PSU to the adapter power slot. Some specific version of the adapters have options such as 8 and 6 pin ATX connectors as well as a DC input connector. Using same power source for powering up the graphic card and the adapter will be a good idea than using different power sources. This way both adapter and the graphics card will get powered up at the same time. You can also supply power to the adapter using DEC power connector if your graphic card is not that power hungry and doesn't need extra power from PCIe connectors. Finally connect your external GPU setup to your laptop using a cable that connects the MPCIe to the adapter. You have to insert that MPCIe cord into the MPCIe slot of your laptop.